What's good, YouTube? It's Sos. Money is thing. You already know the vibes. You feel me? We back with another reaction. My son has finally went live. You feel me? We was waiting. <laughs> and he talking about P. Diddy getting indicted. You feel me? My son Diddy got arrested. If y'all didn't see my last video. And um, yeah, I heard he had like a... <coughs> Like a fifty million dollar bail or something like that that he got denied or some shit like that. I don't know if the the numbers is accurate, so y'all can let me know in the comments if it's not. But yeah, yo, um, that happened. You know what I'm saying. So before I press play on this video though, subscribe to my channel. You heard, put your chest in it. You know what I'm saying. Smash that like button, turn on your post notifications, so y'all can get notified every time I drop a video. So yeah, my son Diddy got arrested, bro. Let's see what's uh Haas talking about. Or the day before yesterday, there was a second assassination attempt on Donald Trump. Can somebody please explain to me? How we go from the assassination attempt of the president to did he being arrested the very next day? You think that wasn't strategic? So now I'm starting to realize, like, the war is to keep us distracted. This war that's going on is a spiritual war. It's a physical. It, it hasn't really, really got physical yet, but it is physical because it, it's also the inside of your body. Whether it be through the water, whether it be through the medicine, or whether it be through the foods. There's a war going on outside. No man is safe from. Now it's time for you to meditate. Now it's time for you to fast. Now it's time for you to stay focused because they got us looking in the opposite direction. We're not looking where we need to be looking. That's And that's within ourselves because the reality of it is ain't nobody going to do nothing for us. And these debates that's going on, you don't hear about nobody talking about doing nothing for us. The question is, what are you going to do for yourself? Better yet, the question is, what are you going to do for the future of your children? Sean, thank you for sponsoring this world, family. Appreciate you. Oh, it's been a long time since we've been up here cooking. Everybody in the building, make sure y'all hit that like button, man. It's us against the algorithm. It's us against the other YouTubers. You think I don't know? Like, listen, let me tell you something, man. Some of these YouTubers, y'all watch them. I just sat back and listened to some of these other YouTubers brag about how they know how to mess up your Instagram page and brag about how they know how to destroy your YouTube page. Y'all already see what time it is, man. Free Diddy. <laughs> Free Diddy. Yo, who the fuck said Free Diddy, bro? People just be trolling, son. Who the fuck said free free Diddy? Now we're not freeing I'm Diddy dead. over here, my nigga. That nigga need to stay exactly where he at. I don't feel sorry for Diddy. I'm not running no Diddy campaign over here. We ain't running no Diddy campaign over here. Why would I want to free a dude that was in a position to help music music artists, to take care of music artists' families and said he stole from them, and the ones he didn't steal from. He's being accused of giving them all types of pills and potions in their drinks and going up in them raw. Hey, Thousand yo. bottles of baby oil. Hey, yo. Wait a minute. Why the fuck did he say thousand pounds of baby oil? Was that in like in a lawsuit or something about the baby oil? Y'all let me know in the comments. Like, that was OD. Hey, yo. Like, I ain't Can you old. picture? A thousand bottles of baby oil? A thousand bottles of baby oil? What is he talking about? I know my son Diddy didn't have a thousand bottles of baby oil in his crib, bro. Like, how much baby oil do you need? Like, bro, what? You know they got shit out there called uh, lubricant. You feel me? They got tasty one. They got the non-taste one. Like, hey, yo, like, what? K 
Kells. There's a finish line for everything you do in life. Don't matter where you where your place. There's definitely a finish line. From a law we come into a law we gonna return back. We gonna return back to the essence, man. I don't care what age you are. You're going to return back to the essence, and you're gonna answer. And some people gotta stop trying to get in the way. When when when, the, when God is using whatever He's using to give you that universal ass whooping, you can't get in the way of karma. That's the problem with some people, and that's how you inherit somebody else's curse. Because when God decides, and you know what, too. There's really people out here that feel like they can get away with anything. Like, for instance, Diddy. I, I'm pretty sure, bro, Diddy probably felt like he was untouchable for years. You know what I'm saying? These these rich people, they get in the position of power, and they just feel like they're untouchable. They feel like they could do whatever they want. They feel like they could, they could treat people however they want. You feel me? They feel like the world revolves around them. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of them feel like they literally will not get any consequences of any, um, you know what I'm saying, um, malicious actions that they, you know what I'm saying, do they, that they do and shit like that, like, to people. So, yeah, like, they they got diddy ass, all right? And it, it's about time. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, listen, I'm not, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Pro law and all that other shit. You feel me? Especially from, you know what I mean? Trauma that I've come from, involving with law enforcement. You feel me? But like, nah, they needed they needed to get his ass. They need like he he need to be he need to be where where he going? All right? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Like, to get you that and I don't wish Joe on nobody. But when it comes to like, uh, sexual predators and like, uh, people that be you know, um. Pedos and all that, like nah, lock their asses up, throw away the key, you hurt. Intellectual right. ass whipping, that physical ass whipping, that penitentiary ass whipping. You always yeah. got some dumb nigga in the comment section talking about free him. If God wanted him to be free, he'd be free. He's where he's at for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. A reason, the reason that we here. It's a reason behind that. It's a reason. Free him. Free him. For what? He rather suffer the suffering that he gonna suffer in this world and seek forgiveness from Almighty God than to reap the reward of that hellfire. I don't give a damn who don't believe in heaven and hell. I do. You think that I believe that these demons on this earth gonna get away with the things that they've been doing? And God is not gonna remind them of their evils on the day of judgment? Do you really, really believe that? And the thing is, he got away with it for a long time, though. That's the that's the crazy shit about it. You know, people knew what he was doing. They was just turning the other cheek. Oh, did he did he did he doing some 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 funny shit? Turn the other cheek. Oh, did he over there grabbing on guys guys and and caressing people on their arms and 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 pressuring them to come to Diddy parties? Turn the other cheek. Yeah, ain't yeah, 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 ain't shit. <laughs> All the people that went and go get those underage girls or whatever, allegedly, you know what I'm saying, and like helping him do these crazy uh freak off parties and like watching him beat on his females and not take it, you know, take up for them or anything. Like, shame on you, all right. You need to be exactly where the fuck they going to put him, period. <laughs> I know Miss Wallace been waiting for this day. I don't wake up wishing jail on nobody. But you said the same thing. in this case right here, nigga. This world has become a prison for us because if it ain't the elite shitting on us, it's the real niggas and the bad bitches shitting on us. <laughs> well, we got to be caught up in this lifestyle. Like, yo, not the baddies. I'm dead, yo. 
Um, that I look like. Let me see. Let's see what else he's gonna say, bro. Hold on. Let's skip over real quick. The problem is, is that the people don't. We don't accept Black Lives Matter no more. We don't accept them no more. So they're trying to figure out a way to slip my son, Tamika Mowry, and this is why they playing with my. All right, he's talking about something else now. But yeah, yo, um, yeah, that whole shit with Diddy is crazy. Yo, my fault. Also, on the last video, I noticed that when I posted, I I didn't notice till after I posted that the part with the CNN was was muted or I don't know what happened to the audio. So, um, my fault on that. You know what I'm saying? Like I try to I try to give the best quality in these videos that I can. You feel me? Um. And do the best I can, you know what I'm saying? So I apologize on the video being slightly muted, all right? Because you couldn't hear the C CNN uh, news broadcast or whatever. So my fault on that, you feel me? But I appreciate y'all watching this video. Before y'all head out, though, subscribe to my channel. You heard, put your chest in it. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button, turn on your post notifications, and I'll see y'all on the 